that. I like I like uh, Cork. I gave Cork the head over Earl right now. I said, and they said, well, why you say that? I said, because Earl really hadn't caught anybody that we could really mention to because Cork and Cork and Cork I wouldn't say that it's a guaranteed Cork would beat Earl. No, but I was saying basically still, which I said the other day, we haven't seen Earl against the competition so Cork this year. Yeah. So it's hard to judge and say Earl got the advantage. We ain't really seen, I mean, in the gym they seem good, but we have. Yeah. I've seen the real. Yeah, I'm saying, Jim, yeah. you still but I have. Right. So as an observer, I can't say all what y'all are going to I'm sorry. Plus, we all know that when the lights come on, stuff happens different. Now, to me, it appears he has the good. And I, and I really want to see the fight, because I believe, I know that great fighters turn up against great fighters. They really turn up against great fighters. So I want to see what he got. I, I really want to see what he's going the best out of him. I feel like... Um, him and Cork will bring the best out of each other, which is why I want to fight. Like. But as of now, Cork's opposition kind of outweighs Earl's opposition. Even though he went to Kell Brook's hometown in England and, and beat Kell Brook, who was a big welterweight at the time, he, he, he really took it to Sean Porter, which I don't think people really remember that fight. He had Bob Porter like nothing. Sean Porter fight was a good fight. It was a good fight. He fought with Spence. You know, Sean Porter fight with, with, with uh, Kell Brook? No, with Spence. Spence. Good fight. It was a good fight. Good but against Cal Brook, Cal Brook dominated Sean Porter. Yeah, Cal Brook did dominate Sean Porter. But Cal, but Sean Porter and, and Earl Smith was a good fight. Yeah. It was a very good fight. And that's why I'm saying that Styles also make fights. So you never know. He might go out there and we didn't walk away with. Uh, but we don't know. But Styles make fights. But what I'm saying is what I've seen Cork longer than I see Earl. So if I see Earl dominate or I see Cork dominate, I gotta say my side going into toward Cork because Cork has been out dominated for a long time. Earl kind of just come up on the scene now. But I need to see him do more definitive things, do more things that give him that edge that and dominate a few more fighters. Then I'll say, okay, now I'll let him fight. It really look almost like an even fight now, but because of Crawford's reputation and been down there for so long, I gotta give the edge to Crawford. I'm not saying that that guarantee Crawford going to win the fight, they don't guarantee that. I'm just saying from my psychological step, psychological standpoint, looking at what I've seen, I had to lean toward Crawford. That's what I was saying. I wouldn't say Earl can't beat Crawford. I wouldn't say that I like Crawford more. I like Earl. They both good fighters. Those are the words of Roy Jones Jr. as he clears up what he meant by picking Terrence Crawford over Errol Spence. Now, again, a lot of people took offense. A lot of people took offense from, you know, Errol Spence fans. Um, of course they would. Why wouldn't they? You know, because that's their guy. However, Roy said, hey, based on what I see, I haven't seen Errol in those type of fights to compare it to Crawford. Crawford's been there. Crawford's been in three different weight classes and dominated two out of three, and two out of three ain't bad. Okay, now, <clears throat> Errol, I agree with Roy. He's a guy that was a, uh, a few years ago to me. He was a guy that was just starting to come out of that shell because before that he was like any other contender. You know, he was, you know, um, went from a novice to a contender fighter. You know, y y him sparring with Floyd, and, you know, convince Floyd, like, this guy has the goods. So he's a good fighter. No one said he's not good. I think he's very good. I just don't think he, or I'm not convinced that he's great. Because, again, you know, he went, he beat Kell Brook. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sean Porter, and, you know, and that fight was very, very competitive. I don't know what that guy from Fight Hub was talking about. He was, oh, he beat him. And now, well, you know, he, he had hell beating Sean Porter. But Sean Porter will give anybody a good run, to be fair. You know what I'm saying? But Errol Spence taking on Danny Garcia, he's right along with all he needs is like Keith Thurman or something like that. But, you know, who wants to really see that at this point? We'd rather see Crawford. Um, but no, you know, I don't think people got the right idea about what Roy said. He just saying, hey, I don't I didn't see him do much because he hasn't really done much. Not to say he didn't want to do what he wanted. Again, Keith Thurman, that fight looked like it's impossible. It looked like it was impossible. Okay? So, let me hear what he has to say. 
Coffins has been around longer, and you don't take it. A guy that's been around that long and proved himself that long and say, Oh, this guy gonna beat him. How can I say that? I don't know that. I ain't seen this guy. Carol Brook, Carol Brook, I suck it broke. I suck it broke against Triple G. You think he gonna come up the same? No. His next fight, he gotta fight tough Earl Spence. You think he gonna be the same? First time Earl touched one of them things, he can take off. He ain't gonna fight Earl like that. He's just gotta come off eye socket surgery. That's not the same thing. Let's okay. not be stupid. Right. Use your head. So I'm not gonna be stupid with you. I'm gonna tell you the truth. That man come up eye socket surgery, he's not the same. He's not the same. So. What Roy was talking about is the victory over Kelbrook. And I know a lot of people, a lot of Errol Spence lovers are going to hate this, but Carol Brooks' skull was broken. I mean, really broken. Not allegedly, not some doctor said, no, his fucking eye socket was broken. Okay? But... He goes and takes his first L because he gets it broken by who? Triple G Golovkin, a freaking middleweight. Then his very next fight, he comes and fights L. Brook for his title, which was stupid. It was stupid. It really was. Because there now can always be an excuse. And when you come into a fight, anybody, you come into a fight half-cocked, you immediately, automatically take the legitimacy away from the guy that beat you because now we have a built-in excuse because you wasn't a hundred percent you knew damn well you wasn't a hundred percent errol spence didn't break the other eye socket you know what i mean i think what happens when he he helped and aided and added insult to injury okay because it's already broken he just broke another part of his skull which was already break broke okay so he got he took more damage from Errol Spence. Now, Errol Spence himself, okay, you got that fight, the Sean Porter fight. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like with Sean Porter, Kell Brook, that's not really enough to compare it or to, you know, not saying he can't beat him either because that's what, if, if it was that easy for Terrence Crawford to walk through Errol Spence, why would we want it, why would we want to even see the fight? And like Roy Jones Jr. says, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. You know, don't wait until they get old past their prime. You're not going to get credit for that. Uncle Al will pay you, but at the end of the day, you know, what will you look at if you really love the sport of boxing? Maybe people really love it. Maybe people don't. Okay? Roy really loved the sport of boxing. Timothy Bradley really loved the sport of boxing. You know, those are type guys like that that love the sport of boxing. Okay? And they didn't really worry about, oh, will I get beat this time? Will I get beat that time? Okay, so um, I'm glad that Roy, clear, you know, cleared it up for, you know, the guys that was actually saying, oh, man, what well, Roy tripping this, that, and the other. He ain't supporting. He's just telling you the way it is. That's how he does it. And y'all must have forgot. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Roy Jones Jr. telling Errol Spence an important message. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.